Hey One Ho Kids, it's Sal. I am here filming from my lounge room today because I am in isolation. I couldn't go into church to record this video, so I am doing it from my living room. I hope you've had a great week. I hope you enjoyed Jossie's uh, talk to us last week about Ninja Warrior and how we need to stay focused. This week we are looking at a story from the Bible in the book of John and it's about the woman at the well. Now we talked about this in term two and we learnt about this living water that Jesus talks about. But today we're going to be understanding a little bit more the way that Jesus treated this woman with um with respect and he also treated her equally. Now this woman was living in society uh, and she was making choices that a lot of people didn't think were very good choices. And so a lot of people were staying away from her, people didn't want to be seen with her and uh, she didn't really have any friends. But Jesus spoke to her, Jesus talked to her as an equal. He talked to her and treated her just like he would anyone else. So it's a pretty cool story for us to look at. Oh, that's my phone ringing. It must be Chad. Let me answer it. Hey Chad, how are you? It's so good to see you. I'm just chatting to my friends at One Hope Kids and I'm telling them all about the story of the woman at the well. Chad, do you know the story? Have you heard of it before? Hey Sal, it's so awesome to see you, girl. Yeah, that's such a rad story. I fully love it. Hey, it's like one of the best conversations that Jesus like nearly like ever had, man. You know, I'm just chilling at the beach, catching some waves. I love to surf and do some exercise. Hey guys, it's a great story. This story, about Jesus talking to this woman at the well reminds me of surfing a wave, man. Jesus was riding the Holy Spirit wave, man. Like, society was telling him that he shouldn't talk to this woman, yo. Like, society was saying she's different and she's living this life that's not very good and so we should avoid her. We shouldn't talk to her, man. But you know what? Jesus fully listens to the Holy Spirit, man. And he talks to her and he sees past what she's doing, past the life that she's living, man. And he fully sees into her heart and he sees that she's a child of God, man. Fully awesome. So he like listens to the Spirit. He like lets, lets the Holy Spirit guide the conversations, man. And it's just like riding a wave. Like, if I fall off my board and I go under the water, I can fully get pulled by the undercurrent. And it can be like the undercurrent pulls me away from the direction that God wants me to move in, yeah? But Jesus, he doesn't get pulled by the undercurrent. He fully stays on his board and he follows the love wave. He rides the love wave, man. The wave that is the Holy Spirit and he treats her equally. You know, guys, like in this in, in surfing world, there's a saying that goes, we are all equal before a wave. And it's the same with God, man. We're all equal before God. It's totally, totally awesome, guys. Yeah, Chad, I like what you're saying. It's kind of like what you're saying is that, um, all these things like like the things that our friends are saying and doing that we know probably aren't very good, the things that we're seeing on TV or the way that the world kind of is telling us to live, it's like all this is like the undercurrent that's pulling us in a direction away from God rather than towards God. Like in this story, society was saying that you shouldn't go near this woman but Jesus, he didn't listen to that undercurrent that was the voice of society. He looked past what she was doing, doing with her life. He looked past the decisions that she was making and he saw inside her and he treated her with equality. He treated her just like anyone else. 
It's a pretty cool story. He didn't ride the society wave, he rode the Holy Spirit wave. You're totally right, Sal. You just gotta keep loving, just gotta keep riding the love wave. Gotta keep listening to God's voice. Don't get pulled under the ocean and get dragged by the undercurrent in a different direction, man. You know, in Proverbs, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him and He'll keep your path straight. You know, in other words, keep trusting the Lord, keep listening to His voice, and He'll keep you on the right wave. If you, if you fall off your board, don't worry, just keep listening for his voice. Get back on, and he'll help you ride that love wave, man. I'll catch you later, guys. The ocean is calling me. It's time for me to catch a wave. Hey, guys, remember, keep exercising. Catch you later, Sal. Thanks, Chad. Awesome to talk to you. I'll catch you later. Yeah, I'll chuck my wetsuit on, and um, I'll catch you down at Bell's in maybe an hour or so. Awesome dude, see you later. Hey guys, what a cool lesson. I think it's pretty obvious from this story that God is saying people that are on their own, people that are different, people that society maybe tells us that we should stay away from, we should actually talk to, we should actually connect with and treat them equally because they are children of God, just like anybody else, and they deserve to hear about the love of Jesus. So this week, if you are in the playground at school and you see someone on their own, or that kid in class that you know is a little bit different and people don't really play with, I think this week God might be challenging us to talk to them, to invite them to play, to speak kindness and positive words into their life. So that's our challenge this week, to step out, ride the love wave, to talk to people who are on their own, remind them that they are loved. Thanks guys. You know, you've got some activities in your activity book that hopefully you got in the mail or you can print more on our website. And also, I'd love to challenge you to read this story with your family this week. It's a great story with heaps of different messages in it. So read this story. Remember, keep exercising your faith, um, being the best that you can be, accessing Jesus anytime you need him and stepping out and talking to people that are on their own. Thanks guys for listening. I'll see you next week. There's going to be another amazing video and um, with a special guest. I'll talk to you later. Bye.